family, I'm just so happy to see Megan. So, so happy to see Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Finally. Now, Megan supported her friend, Mason Harriman, the man who took those amazing photos announcing Megan's pregnancy. Then took Lilibet's first photo when Lilibet was one year old marked her first birthday. Mason Harriman was in the UK and so was his family. His kids are also friends with Archie and Lilibet and I'm just so happy that my family Megan is there to support her friend Mason Harriman. They are great great friends of Prince Harry and Megan. Now Mason Harriman posted a tweet on Twitter saying this and I quote the Duchess of Sussex was kind enough to introduce me onto the stage for my TED Talks thank you for the support Meg my family we are just so happy to see our beautiful remarkable Megan the Duchess of Sussex and members of the squad online are just so so happy to see Megan and my family I want to read you some comments from members of the squad on Twitter about this, my family, who have had some words to say about seeing our beautiful, gorgeous, remarkable Megan, my family. Now, someone said that it's lovely to see the mutual support between you and Harry and Megan. I love your work and hope we can see this TED Talks soon. My family, someone said that. Now, someone called Alice said that, Con congrats, I want to hear that. Congratulations, Mason Harriman. I want to hear that. That's what friends are for, Mason. You know what? I recall something about Mason Harriman. He was one of the people who condemned those vile, hateful column written by Jeremy Clarkson, my family. And my family, I love that Megan has people who truly love and support her so much. And that Archie and Lilibet also are friends with Miss and Harriman's kids. I'm very happy about that 100%. And now my family, the Daily Fail also was so quick, so quick to report about Megan's emergence. <laughs> My family, that they said Megan emerges after friends insist she has moved on from race row. My family, you and I read the statement released by Harry and Megan's spokesperson. My family, which friend there said that Megan has moved on from race row? Which friend, my family? Which friend? You know what? At times like this, I'm just reminded of how important it is to read exactly what Megan, through her spokesperson, said. My family, I find those words very important. Context matters, my family. And I'll tell you just shortly why Daily Mail is doing what it's doing. My family. My family, as you all know, King Charles leaked a letter, my family, that Meghan had wrote to him after the Oprah interview. My family. King Charles had written a letter first to Megan, addressed to Megan. Then Megan responded. And that letter, some contents about it were leaked to the UK media to try and portray Charles in a positive light ahead of his coronation. That he is not the royal racist. That was why the palace leaked what it leaked. My family. And don't forget, the same Charles evicted Harry Megan, Archie, 
little bit from Frogmore Cottage. The St. Charles waited months to officially recognize Archie and Lilibet by racial children of Harry and Meghan as prince and princess. My family don't ever forget that. The same Charles put his coronation on the same day as Archie's birthday. My family also don't forget that. The same Charles has never ever issued a word of condemnation to the tabloid media for abusing Megan or Archie or Lilibet. Not a single word. Now my family, Megan, in her statement released yesterday, said, and I quote, The Duchess of Sussex is going about her life in the present, not thinking about correspondence from two years ago, related to conversations from four years ago. Any suggestion otherwise is false and frankly, frankly ridiculous. We encourage tabloid media and various royal correspondents to stop the exhausting suckers that they alone are creating. My family. So my family, which friend said that Megan insists she has moved on from race row? Which friend speaks to the daily fail? My family, that's the proper question. Which friend of Megan speaks to Daily Mail? Because my family, those statements came from Harry and Megan's spokesperson. They came from Harry and Megan, their spokesperson. My family, not friends briefing Daily Mail. Prince Harry and Megan, for those who don't, you know, remember or recall, my family have a zero engagement policy with the UK media. Have a zero engagement policy with the UK media. And they say that years ago, my family, allow me to remind everyone of the letter issued, released by Harry and Meghan back then, years ago. My family and their policies have not changed. My family. And my family, please kindly hear what Harry said at the time, my family. And I quote, as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex now settle into the next chapter of their lives and no longer receive any publicly funded support, we are writing to set a new media relations policy. Prince Harry and Meghan did not say they won't engage with the media. Prince Harry and Meghan say, did not say that, hey, look, we want privacy. No. Prince Harry and Meghan said, we won't speak to Daily Mail, The Sun, Daily Mirror, and Daily Express. That is what they said. And because Prince Harry and Meghan refuse to speak to them, these tabloids that have been abusive towards Harry and Meghan, my family, they are the ones who came up with this narrative that Harry and Meghan left for privacy because my family these tablets feel like if harry and megan don't belong to us then no one else can have them that's how they feel they can't stand seeing harry and megan working with netflix making money with netflix or spotify they'll never be able to get over that they're like if i can't have them then no one will if i can't Work with you. If you won't speak to me, then you can't speak to anyone. That's how my family, the tabloids, behave, my family. I continue with what Harry said, my family. I wish that more people would refer to Prince Harry and Meghan's statement back then in 2020. My family. Now, as I continue, my family, 
Prince Harry and Meghan say that we are writing to set a new media relations policy as it pertains to your organization. Like you, Prince Harry and Meghan believe that a free press is a cornerstone to any democracy, particularly in moments of crisis. At its best, this free press shines light on dark places, telling stories that would otherwise go untold. Standing up for what's right, challenging power, and holding those who abuse the system to account. It has been said that journalism first obligation is to the truth. My family, UK tabloids, their obligation is to the money they make, not my family to the truth. Their obligation is to lying to make money. That's how the tabloids operate my family. And my family, Prince Harry and Meghan say that they agree wholeheartedly that a journalism first obligation is to the truth. They say, and I quote, it is gravely concerning that an influential slice of the media over many years has sought to insulate themselves from taking accountability for what they say or print even when they know it to be distorted, false, or invasive beyond reason. My family, Camilla Tomine Zalaya once began an article saying that, you know, it can be, you know, it isn't exactly true, but it can be believable. My family, it may not be true, but my family, it can be believable. Those people, they lie, lie, lie so much. And as Harry said in his memoir, without mentioning the name of Camilla Tomini is a liar. That person, Camilla Tomini, makes Harry ill because she can't get things right. She never gets stuff right. However, she writes them anyway. My family, the carnival of so-called experts, like Camilla Tomini is a liar, like to lie so, so much, to make money from their lies. And they are angry that my family, Harry and Meghan, speak the truth. My family, call them out for being liars. Call them out for creating a circus. My family, like the clowns, the carnival of so-called experts who call themselves Royal Rotor truly are my family. Now, as I continue my family with what Harry said, when power is enjoyed without responsibility, the trust we all place in this much needed industry is degraded. There is a real human cost to this way of doing business and it affects every corner of society. Prince Harry and Meghan have watched people they know as well as complete strangers have their lives completely pulled apart for no good reason other than the fact that salacious gossip boosts advertising revenue other than the fact that salacious gossip boosts advertising revenue my family and no wonder why they wanted Megan they are so so bad my family and right now I can reveal to you that UK tabloids my family most of them that Harry and Megan want nothing to do with like Daily Mail the Mirror, Express, my family, the Sun, I can confirm to you right now that they have a live commentary. They have a live commentary. My family, 
on the coronation and they're using Harry and Meghan's name, their names, stories about Harry and Meghan to get clicks. Because my family, they know that that coronation was their chance to make money, was their chance to make a huge, huge profit. And that's why they are so bitter right now that Meghan ain't coming, my family, because that was their chance to profit from their hate campaign against Meghan. And they're angry that Meghan has taken that away from them by staying home in California. Despite Meghan staying home in California, that still does not stop the tabloids from finding ways to profit from their hate campaign against Harry Meghan. And so what are they doing? Making up nonsense, my family, about Harry and Meghan. Writing any story about Harry and Meghan just to get clicks, my family. Writing nonsense, my family, saying it comes from friends. Friends of Meghan. Friends of Meghan. My family, we read the statement. It was not a friend who my family briefed us that Meghan has moved on from the race row. It was not a friend. My family. And as a matter of fact, my family, it was Harry and Meghan's spokesperson. That's who my family. That's who. But Daily Mail is trying to make it look like friends of Megan brief them. Friends of Megan speak to them. What a bunch of disgusting lies. They are lying. My family, friends of Megan would never speak to a tabloid that spreads hate for profit against Megan Markle. Friends of Megan would never speak to a tabloid that incites hate against Megan. My family, and that is the truth and nothing but the truth, my family. And my family, it's so disgusting to see how the press are using Harry and Meghan's name to get money, to generate revenue, my family. Harry and Meghan are not funded by the taxpayer, but the tablets are looking for any excuse just to intrude on the lives of Harry and Meghan. Any excuse whatsoever just to make money off of Harry and Meghan by force. And they have King Charles, they have Prince William, they have Kate Moulton, they have Camilla Parker Bowles, but it seems to me, my family, that none of them matter to the UK media. Only Prince Harry and Meghan. Only trashing Harry and Meghan matters to the UK media. Hate for profit, my family. And their business model makes me sick. My family, please hear what Harry and Meghan said once again. Back in 2020. And I quote, With that said, please note that Prince Harry and Meghan will not be engaging with your outlet. Daily Express, Daily Mirror, Daily Mail, and The Sun. No corroboration and zero engagement to this day. To this day. But that has not stopped the tablets from trying to use any means to make money off of Harry and Meghan. That has not stopped them, my family. My family, as they continue, as Harry and Meghan said, there will be no collaboration and zero engagement. This is also a policy being instated, being instated for their communications team in order to protect 
that team from the side of the industry that readers never see. This policy is not about avoiding criticism. It is not about shutting down public conversation or censoring accurate reporting. Media have every right to report on and indeed have an opinion on Prince Harry and Meghan, good or bad, but it can't be based on a lie. As Harry and Meghan said, they also want to be very clear this is not any way a blanket policy for all media, for all media, and yet the carnival of so called experts lie every day. I thought they wanted privacy. My family, where in this entire statement does it read that Harry and Meghan want privacy? Where? It simply says you want nothing to do with Daily Mail, The Sun, Daily Mirror, and Daily Express. My family. And these tabloids, my family, that I'm mentioning, my, my family right now, my family right now, that Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with. They have a live coverage right now, before the coronation, using Harry and Meghan's name, my family, to make money before Charles coronation my family they were planning on how making so much money off of the appearance of megan off of their hate campaign against megan my family i'm happy that megan stayed behind i'm happy to protect her mental health and enjoy her son's birthday my family and my family as i continue my family with what harry and megan said Prince Harry and Meghan are looking forward to working with journalists, with journalists and media organizations all over the world, engaging with grassroots media, regional and local media, and young up and coming journalists to spotlight issues and causes that so desperately need acknowledging and they look forward to doing whatever they can to help further opportunities for more diverse and under represented voices my family who are needed now more than ever what they won't do is offer themselves up as currency for an economy of clickbait and distortion however the tabloids want everything to do with Harry and Meghan. They want everything to do with Harry and Meghan, my family. Everything. When Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them. They're like, if you can't work with us, then you should not work with anyone else. That's how they're like. They have that sort of sense of, they have that sense of entitlement towards Prince Harry. They're used to intruding on Harry's life. Harry's privacy they are used to doing that you know even in harry and Meghan documentary we learned of how paparazzi were cutting fences just to try and catch a glimpse of harry and Meghan. my family why do that even tyler perry said that he had never ever seen what he saw them cutting fences my family then entering into his property his property in California to try and catch a glimpse of Harry and Meghan, to harass Harry and Meghan. And even they were waking up Archie. My family, because all of Harry's life, he has never, ever been protected. And the consequences of that, my family, we see exactly how the media feel entitled to everything about Harry. And even about his spouse, Megan. They viewed them as fair game because the palace won't protect Harry and Megan. The palace is feeding the wolves, the press, to go after Harry and Megan or protecting the other senior members of the royal family from William, King Milton, Camilla, and Charles. And even Andrew, my family, as well. 
And my family, once again, as I've always been saying, the same media that is demanding that Harry and Meghan drop the deals with Netflix and Spotify are the same ones who want to profit from the hate campaign against Harry and Meghan. They want to make money from Harry and Meghan, but they don't want Harry and Meghan to make money for themselves. That's how they are. These tablets have a live coverage using Harry and Meghan's name. Harry and Meghan, whom they have no access to. And so my family, Daily Mail is using, you know, friends insist, friends of Meghan insist she has moved on from race row. They are using those references to inform the gullible readers that friends of Meghan speak to them. When my family, that is a lie. That is a lie. That is nothing but a filthy lie. My family, that's how the tabloids are. Even when Harry and Meghan were quiet, they never stopped harassing. Never stop relentlessly going after Harry and Meghan. They never ever stopped. And my family, they still have not stopped. Daily Mail has no access to Harry and Meghan. Friends of Meghan don't speak to Daily Mail and never will. My family and Meghan in a statement said that she has moved on and they just can't get over it. They can't accept that Meghan has moved on. They're like, you can't move on from us, Megan. That's how, you know, the carnival of so-called experts are like. You can't move on from us. That's how my family, they are like. And my family, seeing Megan with her friends is quite a joy for me to watch my family. Megan truly is continuing with her life. Megan is moving on and my family we are happy to see megan we are so so happy to see her my family even someone said that nice is always so good to see her i love your friend mr harriman say hi to megan indeed mr harriman say hi to megan my family someone said that wow megan is beautiful and she looks happy, glowing, and beautiful. My family, indeed, Megan is just so, so beautiful. Beautiful and very, very beautiful. And I'm happy to see Megan. I'm happy to see Megan. I'm happy to see Megan 100%, my family. I'm happy to see Megan 100%. It brings me. So much great, great joy, my family. Someone said that cute, healthy, happy, held, Duchess Megan, indeed, my family. I just love their friendship. Megan introducing her friend Mason Harriman on his TED Talks, my family. My family. I'm just so happy to see Megan and people online are also equally as happy, my family. Look at Megan, beautiful, unbothered, and unbroken by the noise. Let the meltdown begin, my family. They won't take Megan down, my family. They'll never be able to take or destroy a beautiful, remarkable Megan. And one thing about the press is that never... Will they ever be able to accept that Megan has moved on? My family. Even that's why Daily Mail, my family, has to try and, you know, attach, you know, Megan's emergence with the leaked letter. They, they can't allow or accept Megan to move on. They can't. They can't allow it, my family. And my family, that's how they are. That's how they are. They always seek a response from Harry and Meghan. They want Harry and Meghan to talk to them. That's what they want. And Harry and Meghan won't talk with them. 
Harry and Meghan won't engage with their abusers. And they're doing the right thing by not engaging or speaking with their abusers, my family. You don't negotiate with terrorists, my family. And I consider the UK media terrorists, the worst form of terrorists. The tabloid media are the worst form of terrorists, my family. And that is a fact, my family. Now, someone said that abusers can never freely let go of their victims. So after a victim escapes, the abusers trash, beg, cry, gnash, sulk, project, and attempt to rewrite history in an attempt to get the victim back. Because without their victims, abusers are nothing but empty vessels of hate and self loathing i agree with that 100 percent 100 percent abusers only know how to abuse and that's how the uk media operate by being abusive my family no matter what they've done to try and destroy megan the duchess of sussex my family they have not succeeded megan is thriving megan is moving on with her life and it's high time the press move on. High time the lying, bigoted, racist tabloids in the UK move on. And understand, Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them. You know what, my family? I wish the tabloids believed what they were saying. That Harry and Meghan are irrelevant, like they always say. I wish they believed that which... They keep spewing Harry and Meghan are relevant. Because if they believe that, then my family, they would not mention a word about Harry and Meghan. They would not keep coming after Harry and Meghan. My family. And no matter how much they try, my family, they'll always fail. They won't succeed in destroying Harry and Meghan. My family... So, what do you think about seeing Megan? I'm happy to see Megan, my family, so happy to see her glowing, my family. And my family, may God bless her, Archie Lilbert, Prince Harry, and Doria Raglan, my family. Please stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.